Hello everybody and welcome back to a man who has to put all the lights on his face to make his audio sound good. My name is Evan Ettinger and today I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. My everyday carry. This is the type of video that I've wanted to make for a really long time. I'm a creator that just loves creating and sharing how I create. It might not be necessarily a cup of tea, but hey, this uh, upcoming Sunday, I'm gonna be doing the video reacting to my whole citizenship ceremony, so stay tuned for that. Until then, what do I carry with me every single day? Also, by the way, this video is sponsored by Karma. You'll be hearing more about them in about a, a minute or so, hey? Early boy. So this is the Peak Design Everyday Bag version two 30 liter. You might've seen me wearing this in any and every vlog I've ever uploaded in the last like year and a half or so. I love this bag. It's so incredibly useful and full of organization tools, which for me, I used to just have a big Herschel bag and just dump everything in. It hurt my back. I could never find anything. Now with this guy, with the amount of organization tools, pockets, everything, the fact that uh, it just also looks really nice and it's waterproof and has a nice latch here is amazing. So if I open this guy up right like this, cause you can open it from the top. You can open it from the sides like this. So if you want to just quickly get in there and get a lens or something, you can do that. And also it has a laptop zipper as well and some secret compartments. Ooh. So if we open up the top, what is the first thing I bring with me? Well, just in case ugh, it gets a bit cold, first thing in my everyday carry is just uh, a hoodie. Just in case, you know, living in London, you might think like, for instance, this past video, I'm sweating up a storm. Evan, wow, it must be really hot. And now all of a sudden it's like 12 degrees. So I got with me here a whoop, Lululemon gray city sweat hoodie. This thing is very lightweight, incredibly soft and flexible. I honestly have been going through quite a Lululemon binge for the last like couple months or so. If you've seen like my wardrobe change, oh my God, I love them so much. It's a bit of an addiction. However, luckily I managed to catch this guy on a sale because I used today's video sponsor, Karma. Now you might've actually already heard me talk about this extension a couple months ago, but it was called Shop Tagger. So it's called Karma, same great product. Essentially it is a free Google Chrome extension. Just go to Google Chrome, go to the web store, download Karma. And then anytime you're shopping on any website that you like, well, guess what? You can save some of the items on the store to your karma, don't have to pay full price anymore. They will notify you via mobile or via email whenever that item goes on sale. You can save multiple items to lists, so that way if you're just looking to maybe save money on tech gear or yoga gear, whatever you want, whenever those specific items go on sale, you get notified about it. No more am I gonna pay full price for any of these stinking soft clothes that I've been buying recently. No, 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 no. And if it was just for that feature alone, Karma's already worth the steep price of free. Also, they will scour the internet for all coupon codes for you. So even if you don't wanna wait, you can make sure using Karma, you get the cheapest price available. And they also give cash back via PayPal when you shop with their retail partners. So thank you very much to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Download the free Karma Chrome extension today. And without further ado, let's see what else is in my everyday carry. So my thought is, let's go through the laptop sleeve first. My daily driver for computers at this point is my M1 MacBook Pro, which I'm currently using. So I, I couldn't really put in here while I'm using it to record audio, but the M1 MacBook Pro, Honestly, I'm waiting for the M1X, but this thing is insane. Like it's crazy how strong this thing is. I have never once heard the fan and I edit 4K 50 frames per second video. I really didn't expect this to be that good, especially because there's only like one type of chip, just the M1. There's no like professional, you can't spend more money. It's just this and it's great. Highly recommend it. Battery lasts all day. M1 MacBook is a dream. Now, what else do I have in my laptop sleeve? Well, uh, there's multiple sleeves here, but <sighs> First of all, if I'm going out on a shoot, I always bring with me a little reflector. This is the Selen. Packed away in this small little sleeve is a gold, silver, and white reflector. And these are super duper useful if you want to take good photos of people but don't want to bring an entire lighting setup with you. The, the power of a reflector cannot be overstated, especially if you're trying to get photos of friends and things. Whoop, what's up next? Oh, also big up. I've got my AirPods Pros here. now. I originally, I wasn't going to get these because I had my original AirPods, but I accidentally washed them in the washing machine. So had to upgrade. These are mind-blowingly good. There's no reason for the noise canceling these to be as good as they are. So a bit of witchcraft, but I really like using these, especially when I'm at the gym, when I'm going for runs. It's a lot better than having to use over-ear headphones for that specific purpose. And even if I just had to use these, they're honestly that good, I wouldn't really mind that much. All right, next up in the other pocket are a couple things. We've got two specific wires with an anchor power battery. You know when your phone dies at the worst possible moment when you're out and about? 
I don't because I always make sure to have one of these whenever I leave the house. This thing can like refill my iPhone about like six or seven times. It's USB-C with fast charging and it also has a USB-A in case I need to charge anything else. And the two cables I bring with me are my USB-C to lightning for that fast charging my iPhone and also a USB-C to USB-C. This way, if something happens with my camera, for instance, I can actually just fill it up on the go because my camera recharges with USB-C. So it's just really useful to have that as a backup. All right, next up in the bag, we've got here a Leatherman's Super Tool. Now, my dad actually gave me this specific sleeve for it. I don't have the original, very sadly, because I had to give it up at MCO, the world's worst airport. But this is way more useful than it has any right to be. I genuinely use this thing at least like three to four times a week. This is kind of my go-to knife to use when I'm opening any packages, but also because I don't have any fingernails, it's really useful to use this like flat head screwdriver bit to kind of open bits. There's also a can opener in here. You never know when you gotta open a bottle, for instance, there's a bottle opener. And lastly, we got a saw and a Phillips head screwdriver. So rather than have all these different tools around the house that I will definitely lose, I've just got them all here along with some pliers. Leatherman Super Tool, 10 out of 10. Just make sure you don't leave it in your everyday carry when you're flying. Wow. Ugh. I really didn't think about this, did I? How am I gonna do this? Whoop. All right, in this sleeve here, I've got my Kindle Voyage. I got this about four or five years ago, and it is still my favorite way of reading books. I'm currently reading Harry Potter und der Hauptblood Prinz. The Half-Blood Prince, Auf Deutsch natürlich. It's a really nice e-reader. It's primarily how I read books. As much as I love physical books, there's just something so much nicer about having a slim form factor here that's lit, but in a comfortable way that you can easily read when you're on a commute without having to worry about the book getting wet or damaged or anything. Infinite books, infinite power. Also, it's got this cool little butterfly stand for it so I can just prop it up and read it just like this. What else do I have in my bag full of wonder? Oh, in the front pocket, I've just got here a little remote for my Sony camera, so that way when I'm out and about, you're like, Evan, how do you get these shots? I just set up the tripod and then, boop, push the button here on the remote. Uh, this is just a little helpful guide from Lee Filters on how to shoot things with neutral density filters because I'm not that great at landscape photography style shoots yet, and so it's useful to have one of these little guides so that I can be like, Okay, at a normal shutter speed of one two thousandth of a second, with the big stopper, I could turn that to one half of a second, so you get more long exposure shots. So I like to keep that in the front pocket. Can you believe I've not even gone to the main compartment yet? Just dingling and dangling around my bag, you'll find random SD cards, just because even though I have an organized place for them, I just want to be able to go in anywhere and grab an SD card just in case, because I'm always, always needing more of those. Oh, wait, one more thing in this part. Uh, another SD card. <laughs> this is a uh, ProGrade 256V90. These things are crazy fast and the only thing available on the market outside the insanely overpriced CF Express A cards that can work with my camera I'm currently shooting on, the Sony A7S III, which normally if I'm out and about, I'm gonna be using this to vlog, usually with the Sony 16 to 35 millimeter F2.8 G Master. It's just kind of the best possible lens to go out and about for vlogging. I'm currently using the 24 mm F1.4 G Master, just because I like 24 as a focal distance and oh man, it's a prime lens, so it looks really, really good. But usually that doesn't go in my bag. I have that on my shoulder and instead, as we begin opening up the bag, oh my God. Actually, I think I've put it in one of the compartments here. Look at that. There we go. That's uh, what's in my bag. It's, it's that. So uh, if I reach in here, this is my Sony a7 III. The a7 III is kind of my go-to photography camera. I use the a7S III for video, but it's only 12 megapixels, whereas this is 24. And so, ooh, this allows me to go out, get really good photos. But if I do make any mistakes in my composition or I wanna be a bit more artistic in my crop, this allows me to do that. And currently my go-to lens I just like to leave on it right now is the new Sony 50 millimeter F1.2 G Master. I've always wanted a 50 mil lens and I'm really happy to be using it because it's literally perfect. It's so sharp. It's so crazy good bokeh. If you saw my video about selling my photographic prints, well, a lot of that was shot on this 50 mil, hence why the bokeh was so smooth. So I keep this with me as my go-to. Also, uh, this camera strap, same color as the bag. It's a peak design. Got the dingly danglies here. Everything just works together and it's really convenient. Now, I like to carry as well one backup lens just in case I want to get specifically uh, some different types of shots. And woo, the lens I'm going with at the moment is the Sony 70 to 200 mil F 2.8 G Master. This thing is a beast. It's incredibly sharp. I've never used a telephoto lens before getting this. And it's just, you have so much more power with this lens. You can get so many different compositions that you couldn't have gotten before. And the look of a telephoto lens is, is unlike any other lens. And so I just like using this, despite how incredibly heavy it is, 
just because it makes me feel like I'm able to get the shots I never thought I could. So now without those things, it's actually not that heavy anymore. Let's zip up this segment here. And instead, wah, let's see what's in the front pocket. Like I said, I keep one hoodie in the top and if I'm traveling or if I'm going anywhere like hardcore, hardcore traveling. Uh, usually I like to bring these, which are my noise canceling headphones. These are the Bose NC700 noise canceling headphones. It's a terrible name, but they're so, 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 so good. I remember growing up and always passing the Bose store and wanting so badly to have a pair of noise canceling headphones. And they're very much worth the penny if you're someone that travels a lot. Compared to the AirPods Pro, the AirPods Pro are genuinely really, really good, especially even for just train commuting. But these are just that next level if you really want to get extra focus and you don't want anyone to talk to you, just whoop, cancels all the noise out. It's uh, beautiful. Definitely my go-to for over-ear headphones. Next up, now this is one of those things, like I said, that I only really bring with me as my everyday carry if I'm traveling. It's the DJI Mavic Air 2S. This thing can shoot 4K, 50 FPS, also 20 megapixel camera. It's absolutely beautiful. If you've ever followed my travel channel before, you'll know I really love getting those drone shots. And I've been a big fan of DJI in the past. I've used like three of their drones before. So I got this during lockdown and I'm very excited once travel regulations lift, gonna be shooting with this guy a whole lot. Also, might as well show you what's on the outside of the bag. We have here just a standard red umbrella. I actually got it on Amazon specifically because red is such a vibrant and bright color that if I wanted to take some cool shots in the rain, I wanted to make sure I had an umbrella that would stand out. So photography wise, it would make the photo look much better. So I, I bought this as an umbrella for photography in the rain. And hey, I've used it in a couple shots and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The other thing I have in this little outside pocket here on the backpack is this new PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro tripod. If you've ever been someone that's had to use any like tabletop tripods, you'll know the heavier your camera setup gets, the more scary it feels holding this tiny flimsy tripod, right? This guy, absolutely not. Like I've actually had a Manfrotto tabletop tripod break on me before during a shoot. And that is terrifying because it doesn't matter how much you've spent on a camera. If you have a weak tripod, your camera's busto, okay? Now this guy has so many crazy cool features that it is, it's, it's honestly hard for me to talk about all of them in this video, so I don't have time. My favorite one specifically, it has this little kickstand here. So you can actually hang it up and vlog in other locations that you would never have been able to do before. It's kind of like a gorilla pod, except it's just so much lighter, more sleek, more versatile, and also folds up quite incredibly so. Go like this, it has like a very, very versatile ball mount and it's Arca Swiss compatible. So if you know what that means, oh yes, I no longer have to unscrew all these things before. Everything is Arca Swiss now, it's amazing. Invest in Arca Swiss for your camera stuff. It's the best idea you can do. Don't forget, if you'd like to buy anything that I've mentioned so far in the video, there'll be a specific link for each item in the description box below. And if you purchase any of these stuff that I've talked about with my specific links, it really helps out the channel. So thank you. This backpack has a little secret compartment. Ooh, see the secrets? Uh, what I keep in my secret compartment, please don't tell anyone, is uh, my US passport. I actually have to send this to the UK tomorrow to get my uh, UK passport. So I won't have this for much longer. They'll give it back to me, but hey, I like to keep this in my bag when I'm traveling. Otherwise, I don't really walk around with it because what if I lose it, you know? Also, I have here the PGY Tech little wallet for SD cards. Really useful just so I always have some good SD cards on me in case I have to get some photos and I missed around the other ones that are just kind of dotted around the back. Also in my secret compartment, a SanDisk SD card dongle. If you're a Mac user, you know you have to use these at the moment until the new MacBook supposedly coming out in autumn or winter, whenever that's gonna be. But this thing has to go with me everywhere just so I can make sure when I'm on the go, I can get my footage, my photos right back onto the computer. Next up, ah yes, I've got with me here a Lululemon face mask. Like I said, I bought everything from them. They're dreadfully, incredibly nice. This mask is only 10 pounds, but it's just as soft as everything else they sell. And it's just such nice quality. And I love that I can put it over with glasses. My glasses don't fog up. And hey, I think it looks good. It feels good. It makes me feel good inside. And I always make sure to have a mask in my everyday carry because I will forget it otherwise. And the last thing I keep on my backpack is this small AirTag here. I got the Apple AirTags because like I said, if you've watched my travel channel, you know I lose stuff all the time. I have one of these in my wallet. Every time I've lost my wallet, even if it's just around the house somewhere, I just ping it, I hear the beep, I can find it. Or I can just follow it with the Find My iPhone app. But look at that boy, he's pretty nice, right? And I keep him in the secret compartment. All right, we're actually nearing the tail end of what is in my bag today. Everything in the big compartments are now empty. And now, if you didn't know this, this bag also has loads of little side pockets. Loads of little pockets in the side. And I like to organize those with uh, different things just to make sure I'm always 
I'm always ready, right? First thing I have with me is an Aperture MC RGB. Uh, this is an incredibly powerful tool, especially if you just want practicals. You might be like, oh, you see that blue back there? Well, that's not one of these, but usually when I'm in my uh, bed doing the other angle from my setup, I have these behind the ladder setup over here, and it just adds a nice color pop. They're so useful to bring with you when you're traveling as well, just in case you need a little bit of light. All right, in this next bit here, I always carry with me a Sharpie, just in case. This one's from Playlist Live. I, I went to Playlist Live. If you can believe it, February last year, before everything started fully kicking off. And I just like to keep this on me just in case I need to write something down with it. And also my Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen, just so, like I said, you always should have a pen with you. You never know when you need it, especially if you're traveling a lot. Next up, I have a standard pack of bicycle cards. I am just a guy who really enjoys card games. I don't do any magic tricks, none of that, but I enjoy some Egyptian rat screw, some Kemp's, some uh, Hoop President. I love those card games. And sometimes there's just nothing quite like playing a card game with friends, especially when everyone's looking at their phones all the time. It's nice to pull this out and then everyone's like, oh, cool. And then you school them. Oh, we still got a bit of tech in this pocket as well. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro SSD. If you are a YouTuber, if you are a photographer, or if you are someone that has not a lot of space on your computer hard drive, I would highly recommend this guy. My editor Phoenix is actually the one that told me about this thing because he was editing off of it. And I was like, how is it that you're able to edit 4K footage off of this small hard drive? Is it that good? Yes, two terabytes, like 200 pounds and incredibly fast. I think I've gotten like four of my friends now to get one of these. That's how good it is. I basically keep all of my photos, my entire like Lightroom portfolio and stuff and all the videos I'm editing on this and I just edit off of that. That's how fast this is. So it goes with me everywhere. Now we're going to the end of the bag here. Uh, this one pocket here, I've just got all my filters and step up rings. So if ever I'm shooting video and I wanna make sure I have a fast aperture and there's a nice blurry background, but not overexposed, I've got these neutral density filters and step up rings so that way they work with every lens I have. Also, I got with me here a little lens cleaning solution. You never know in case there's an issue where you get dirt on the lens or something, you need to be able to clean it. Oh boy, I can't believe it. Final pocket. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2. If you're wondering how I got such good audio during my citizenship ceremony, all I had to do was put this little microphone receiver onto the camera and plug it in. That's it. And then these guys wirelessly will transmit all the sound as a microphone to that. So I don't have to do anything extra in post. So all I have to do is put this like this. Whoop, there we go. Looks pretty cool, right? Or I can have a lavalier microphone connected to this and then that way it's a bit more inconspicuous, which is how I did it. But it's just crazy how good the workflow is for these. Like the fact that there are no wires, it's all transmitted wirelessly and I get really good audio. And also for safety, each of these records backup audio in the receiver themselves. Kind of fantastic. Like I would highly recommend them if you're someone that needs to go out and about and get good audio out in the streets of London or you know, out when traveling and stuff. This is, I think, yeah, this is just my cleaning pouch. So I've got a fresh cleaning cloth, microfiber for cleaning lenses and things, a little brush, doot, 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 just to make sure he's clean. And then what else we got here? Allen wrench. These are very useful, especially if you're using Arca Swiss compatible plates. You wanna make sure you've got those tightened up. Rode lavalier microphone. And that is it for whew, what's in my everyday carry. Obviously, I don't just carry my backpack. I use the iPhone 11 Pro at the moment. I didn't feel the need to upgrade to the 12. I was waiting for maybe 120 hertz refresh rate. I was waiting for possibly USB-C. I got neither of these things. So I'll probably end up getting the iPhone 13, but the 11 Pro is working just fine for me. And then I guess just my wallet, standard wallet, bought it at like Ted Baker six, seven years ago. Got my cash, which isn't really useful in COVID times these days. I've got one business card that I made like six years ago. And then my US driver's license. Not very useful, but it, I, I mean, I got ID, especially because I don't have a BRP anymore because I had to rip that up last week. I've got a personal Monzo, a business Monzo, and a gold Amex. A little air tag and a little safety SD card just in case I need one on the go. But that is everything I carry with me out and about every day. I hope you enjoyed this bit of a different video from me. And hey, if there's anything that I missed that you think I should add to my back, please break my freaking spine. <laughs> it's a lot of things. Also, like I said, big thank you to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Download the free Karma Chrome extension in the description box below. But that is the stuff I carry with me all the time. Got to get that shot. You got to bring that stuff, okay? Got to make sure. I might exchange certain things, like I might bring the 2470 lens with me instead of the 70 to 200. Maybe if I'm trying to switch things out, if I have a different shot in mind. But for the most part, that's what I bring with me. 
If you're interested in figuring out how I make these videos and you wanna watch another video from me, well, I've got a studio tour I made in September for this bedroom, so give that a watch if you'd like. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.